All right guys, it's a weird one. Today's video may gross you out, but it's important that you see it. So as you can see from the title, we're switching it up today. We're not talking about makeup, we're talking about skincare. And I have discovered an outrageous skincare gem. So as you can tell by the title, I have been using for 21 days straight snail skincare. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw the first night I ever used it, which I think was April 23rd. Uh -huh. And today is, what is today? May 13th. Check my math, but I think that that is 21 days. And I've been consistent and I've taken footage and I've taken notes. Notes. And I have a lot to say, but before I do get into the whole review, a quick disclaimer. This is my fourth and final video that I've done with YesStyle.com, so today is a sponsored video. However, don't click off just yet because hear me out. The reason I agreed to this sponsorship was not only because I think Korean beauty products are cool and interesting, but really the main reason was YesStyle said, hey, we'll sponsor your video if you try out a few products each month for four months and give us an honest review. I'm telling you guys the truth, there were no talking points, there was nothing I had to say and they gave me a code which is not an affiliate code that I could share with you guys if you want to save money on any other products but other than that there were no talking points so each month I would receive a box of Korean beauty products and I had to try out at least three of them um, and usually I would end up doing five or so of them and all I had to do for the sponsorship was give an honest review um, and if you want to check out all my other ones that I've done with yes style you can see that I was completely honest in all of them there were some products I didn't like some things that didn't work for me I was able to be honest so so the fact that today's video is sponsored is really just a bonus for me. It really doesn't affect my honesty, what I'm about to tell you, because it's pretty shocking. And intriguing. Okay, so first things first, if you don't know about snail mucin being in skincare, let me just give you a little bit of background information. First of all, yes, this means what you think it means. So all of these products are formulated with snail mucin, which is like the gooey stuff that a snail leaves behind it as it's crawling. And I gotta tell you, I was truly nauseated the first time I heard this. I've gotten over it. It's definitely weird to get used to at first, but snail mucin is actually a spectacular skincare ingredient. Let me give you some background information. Again, this is not required. I just think it would be cool for you guys to learn this because I thought it was cool to learn. Let me get my notes here. So there was a doctor, an oncologist, a Spanish oncologist in 1960s who first discovered that snail mucin had healing properties. So he was using his radiation on snails, which is mean, and he noticed that their mucin was healing, like the contusions or abrasions on the snail's skin. So then he started using it on his patients and he discovered that it would rapidly like heal wounds and soften the skin. So so then, fast forward a few years to the 1980s, there's a family in Chile. Yeah, there was a Chilean family who owned a snail gardening business, and they would sell um, escargot to French wholesalers. Okay, I got it right now. And this is from Wikipedia. It says, through many days of handling the snails, they recognized that their skin became softer and clearer. The scars and the cuts by middle cages were noticeably reduced. So then the eldest son in the family attempted a rigorous study about snail secretion. 15 years later, the family established the first skincare brand with snail nail slime based secretions. I know it's gross. I don't like the word secretions, but hear me out. Fast forward a few years and South Korea picked it up and they really like made it a big thing in skincare. So this brand in particular, Mizon, Mizon, I really don't know how to pronounce it. I'm very sorry. This is like a wildly popular Korean skincare brand that is full of snail secretions. Uh, this product in particular, this is the multifunction formula all-in-one snail repair cream. This one has 92% snail extract. And right here on the tub, it says it promotes skin repair and effectively resolves skin problems. And the more I tried to like not be so grossed out and really think about it, it actually makes so much sense because the reason that snails have this stuff, it's designed to protect them because their little bodies is like soft tissue and the parts that are outside of their shell are exposed to the elements. So it's literally designed to protect the snail's soft tissue and it prevents the desiccation of the snail soft tissue. So pretty cool little design right there if you ask me. So within the snail secretion, there's um, glycoproteins, I think is what you call it. Hyaluronic acid, glycolic acid, like all of these things that have already been proven to be good for your skin are just naturally found in the snail secretion. Um, hyaluronic acid being my personal favorite thing, it's really good for wound healing. Um, it promotes it promotes collagen and elastin and helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It helps other products penetrate better. Like all in all, it's really natural, really good stuff that the snails have given us. Shalom. <laughs> 
Okay. You can read, I will link some articles down below. There's a really good one from like New York Magazine that has a lot of information about snail mucin. There's videos about it you can watch. You know, do some research, see how you feel. And real quick, before I get into like my own personal results, I just want to mention everything that I have read, from what I understand, the snails are not harmed and it's a completely like humane practice. Um, if you're like a vegan, then obviously these products wouldn't be for you. So this article here kind of explains how they do it. It says harvesting the slime involves having the nocturnal snails crawl around a mesh net in a darkened room for 30 minutes at a time and then they're transferred back to their natural habitat to rest. And this person who wrote this article says, every brand representative that I spoke to for this story stressed that none of the snails are harmed in the procedure. Cause RX uses a similar process as does Mizon, the brand that I use, which their rep tells me heats the mesh net to increase humidity for a terrarium effect and it ramps up the mucin secretion. The snails are never harmed. The moisturizing slime is then collected collected and pasteurized for the bottle. Um, so if that still bothers you, I totally get it. And it's definitely worth looking into and doing some research instead of just taking my word for it if you're concerned about that type of thing. Um, in my research, I found a ton of doctors and dermatologists and plastic surgeons and all these people that endorse and like stand behind snail products. <laughs> um, but this guy in particular, I thought was worth mentioning, um, Dr. Matthew Schulman, who's a plastic surgeon. He says that it really helps improve the skin texture quality of his patients. And he offers an Escar Glow facial <laughs> which is just the most clever thing ever so guys this is a thing and i uh found out firsthand that it's amazing so let's talk about my results so like i said i talked to you guys on my instagram story um the first time i ever used it so i used the cleanser the cream and the eye cream but the first night the first thing i noticed was that my face felt really firm it kind of tightened a little bit and it almost felt numb i just started trying snail products like for my skincare like this cleanser has snail mucus in it and this is 92% like snail junk it's really free it's honestly the strangest sensation I have ever felt with my face like first of all within five minutes I felt like all my pores went away and my face like changed and now it feels there's like a it feels like numb <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Does anybody use snail stuff? Now, so many of you guys were DMing me saying that you've tried snail products and none of you ever felt numb. I have no idea why I felt that. And it wasn't like numb numb. I mean, I had feeling in my face, but it was like kind of muted. I don't know what it was. I don't know if my face just got like kind of pulled tight. I don't know if it was like bringing blood flow to my face and it, I don't know what happened, but that only happened the first time I ever used it. It never happened again. And the next day, and those of you who talked to me through DMs on Instagram will attest to this, the next day I saw results and I woke up and my skin looked just better. And it's really hard to explain. And I wish I had gotten footage that very next day because I just looked smooth and just kind of plump and like just a little more even and it just looked nice. Like I just looked kind of rested. It was really subtle, but I was happy about it. And that's what really made me be like, okay, I'm using this every day. If there's immediate results, there has to be long-term results and I'm gonna use it every single day. So every night I would take my makeup off with coconut oil. I would cleanse my skin with the cleanser, which I love the cleanser. Like it takes off every bit of makeup. It definitely has a slimy texture. I mean, it's snail slime. By the way, the way I got past that in my mind was just by pretending that it it wasn't snail slime. <laughs> I literally just had to choose to not think about it and just ignore it and I got over it. It broke down all of that like residual oil on my face. I never felt stripped of moisture after using it. Um, the only thing I have is a slightly tight feeling like not even tight that's not the right word it's more like a firmness it's hard it's hard to explain it feels similar to the safe me cleanser that i reviewed um, in my last like korean beauty video where it just kind of has this slimy creamy texture to it um but it's pleasant it's gentle it feels good and i love this i don't know though that this is what gave me the most results i think it was the creams you know what i mean because this is something that goes on your face and then washes right off so i think what really gave me the amazing results was the other two products. Okay, so moving on to the Snail Repair Cream. This stuff, you can't use it as a moisturizer. I tried using it as a moisturizer and despite all of its amazing ingredients, it's not enough hydration for me because I'm so incredibly dry, but <laughs> this changed my face. So I'm gonna insert some footage from like day one and then day 21. And I tried to, I stood in front of my window with my nice camera on auto in natural light and I tried to keep it at the same time of day just to give you like the most accurate representation as I possibly could because I feel like photos 
lie. Like if I show you a before and after photo, it's like it could easily be facetuned. HD video I think is just more accurate. So in the day one footage, my skin looks rougher. I have more spots. It just overall to me looked older than it does now. Um, the biggest thing I noticed was the reduction in redness. Like it's such an odd thing. Like my skin had improved. Like when you see, when you look at the day one footage, that actually was a vast improvement from what it looked like, you know, a month or two prior to that. Because I had found a really good skincare routine and I kept telling you guys I was gonna tell you about it, I was gonna tell you about it, but I, I just hadn't gotten to it yet and I'm kind of glad I didn't because this stuff actually changed everything. So I feel like now I can can almost say, I can't fully say it, but I can almost say that my face is not really red anymore. Like I have redness still around my nostrils um, and there's a little bit of redness in the cheeks, but I mean, I used to be like a tomato, like not, not long ago. And it has somehow repaired my redness. I don't know exactly what it's doing. I don't know if it's because of moisture or if it like was repairing little blood vessels, like the little bitty broken blood vessels I feel like have kind of gone away, vanished. I, I just look better. And another thing I've noticed that I did not expect, and I can't find anyone else on the internet who has had this happen to them, but I also feel like my face is lighter. So my face is often lighter than my neck because I wear self tanner and I don't put it on my face. So my face usually is a little bit lighter, but this I feel like really made it lighter. I guess brighter would maybe be the right word. Like it almost gave me a kind of pale look or maybe it's just in my head cause I'm not used to like not having the redness there, but I almost feel like I look now, like I have a tiny bit of like sunscreen on. You know that look your face has when you wear sunscreen? It's kind of like a white cast. I feel like that kind of all the time now, but it's much more subtle and it doesn't bother me. But I thought that was weird and I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's just like brightening my like age spots or removing my redness or if it's actually kind of lightened my skin a little bit. I don't know. If you guys have ever tried snail stuff, let me know if that has happened to you. So this stuff will probably be in my skincare routine forever. But like I said, it's not really a moisturizer and I'm I appreciate that they don't call it a moisturizer It's called a repair cream So I put this on and then my moisturizer over top and then the third and final part of my snail regime is the eye cream This has much more of a moisturizing feel than this Like there are a few times where I put this all over my face just because this is really hydrating feeling and I love it It left my under eyes nice and hydrated and soft and supple and I mean you get a ton Like I've been using this for 21 days and literally like you go like that and that's all you need so you just get so much and guys these products don't smell like a snail they smell good they smell fresh they smell like normal skincare hi did you hear that um they smell like fresh normal skincare items oh and see even my hand just feels so soft putting it on my hand i don't know the rules but i would like to like use this on my whole body because of the results I saw on my face. So let me just read some stuff from my notes. So April 29th, how many days would that have been? If I started, so this is six days in, I wrote that my skin looked younger around my crow's feet and that they weren't as deep. So I guess that would have been the eye cream because I, I didn't really take the repair cream like up to my eye area. April 30th, it says redness has gone way down overnight. And yeah, I remember kind of waking up and literally noticing like, oh, this area right here is just not as red. I wanted to read you guys what I wrote for day 14. Okay, yeah, day 14, Monday, May 6th. I left the house with nothing but setting spray and I look like I'm wearing BB cream. And then the seventh and eighth I wrote same and same because it stayed that way. So that just kind of shows you the process of how I was literally noticing like skin milestones each day from this stuff. And we arrive at today and I am still feeling like I look almost like I'm wearing BB cream for me. Like for how textured and red and fine liney my skin has been before, I just personally see a huge difference. So those are my amazing results from using snail products. Amazing and definitely unexpected. Like I felt like my skin had improved so much that I really didn't think there was much hope for me because of my hormonal problem. Um, but something to also keep in mind is that I do take Halo Beauty, which is like a skincare supplement created by the beautiful Miss. Tati Westbrook. Um, I've told you guys about that before. I think I'm on like month six right now. So there's a chance that that aided in the um, improvement of my skin. And I have also like all but eliminated sugar from my diet. However, that's been a thing since like 
the end of 2017 that I've been on keto. Sometimes I go off of it, but I've been like on it really good for a few weeks now. So keep all of that in mind. My results may not be typical. However, all the research I've done, people have like similar results. Um, something I didn't do that I really wish I would have is apply it to my decollete because I feel like my chest area looks like pulled from all the tanning I did when I was in high school and I should have like, like that would have been a really good indicator. So I'll probably start bringing it down <laughs> to that area. So enough about snails. I will shut up. I'm like kind of sad. I'm sad that I'm not going to be testing out any more like Korean beauty products for a while. However, I'm really happy that I have had this opportunity with YesStyle and this partnership with them because, sorry, I'm like distracted by the baby birds. Oh <gasps> gosh, they're fuzzy. Anyway, I'm so glad that I agreed to this partnership with YesStyle and done four videos, even though it was a lot. It was a lot to try out. It was a lot of skincare. I feel like I learned so much and this final round of products with the snail stuff, it just like put the cherry on top of everything because I got such good results from the snail stuff. So don't forget to check out Yes Style. It's the largest online retailer of K-Beauty products and K-Beauty is a huge thing right now. It's all the rage for good reason. Like I said, they gave me a code. I think it's YS50Jamie that will save you money. It is not an affiliate code. It just saves you money. I wish it was an affiliate code. <laughs> thank you again, Yes Style, for working with me and thank you guys for being my viewers and engaging with my content enough to where Yes Style wanted to work with me and let me know what you think about about this snail situation. Have you used it? Did you have results as good as mine? Like, what's the deal? Everything will be linked down below as usual. I love you guys and I'll see you in Friday's video. Friday's video is good, by the way. See you later. My cheek's twitching, look at that. I think I need some potassium. Oh, there's baby birds out there. Shalom. Hello, Judy. I like your shirt. Oh uh, yeah. I miss our nink. Oh, forget it. Get it myself. Yeah.